Thanks so much for continuing to watch World Art Day here on North Shore Television. And now with us, we have a great artist that I'd like to introduce to you, Kavita Raju. She is also a school and clinical psychologist. And welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you so much you. for being with us. I'm looking forward to working with you. Good. Um, so let's just start. So you're a school and clinical psychologist. Yes. Mm -hmm. What made you transition into art? Or was there a transition? Um, I was always an artsy kid. I yeah. was, enjoyed painting and drawing, but I never studied it formally. Um, and in 2005, I found an ad for um, art class. And this woman, Carla Ray, who was a phenomenal artist, uh, was giving uh, classes in her home. So I decided to take classes. And um, I basically learned how to do oil paintings through her. Um, she studied uh, in Europe. She was European. Um, and she studied the works of the masters, like, you know, Renoir, Degas, Gauguin, and the style of the Impressionists and Post-Impressionists, which I love. Um, so I took classes with her part-time, on and off, for a couple of years. And unfortunately, she passed away a few years ago. Um, so that's where I learned to paint. Now, did you um, study the arts before, like just visually, like learning about them? Or? No, not really. No, I just I just like painting and drawing, but I never studied art formally. Went to the museums, maybe Went once to the in museums. a while. And yeah, just I loved, had... Yes, yes, I love museums. I loved um, I loved walking through the Impressionist Gallery in the Met. That was my favorite. Yeah, and I said, you know what? I should really I should really take formal classes. So I found this phenomenal woman. She was. Incredible. Her house looked like the Metropolitan Museum. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So um, I was fortunate to have met her. So how did you find the time then in between working? I mean, you're, it's not like you... Yeah. Well, <laughs> in the school system, you do get breaks, you yeah. know, a lot of uh, vacation time. So I was able to paint during those times. And um, once in a while, I'd go to class if she had a later class after work. Um, so that's, you know, that's how I started. And I retired. I took an early retirement from the school system uh, four years ago because they offered a really nice package. And uh, I wasn't planning to retire. It just worked out that way. And now I'm working part time in a private practice. I'm a clinical psychologist and uh, I paint. Um, do you find it is like a release for you, like a way to get rid of stress yeah. or is it just fun? It's fun for me. And yes, it does get rid of stress because I'm not focused on anything else but the art. And I love it so much. So it's not um, it's not stressful when right. I'm painting. Yeah. Now, uh, forgive me, because I don't know much about art. I just mm -hmm. think it's pretty or not pretty. Um, do you have a specific style that you use? Yeah. Or? Um, I'm more I do more realism with a touch of impressionism. Um, so I would say that's my style. And this is oil. Oil. Yeah. It's all oil on canvas. So what made you do that like as, as opposed to another kind of medium? Um, I think oil is rich and it's easy to work with. Like if you make a mistake when you're painting, you can fix it. Whereas with acrylic, it's, it dries faster. Um, not as easy to work with, in my opinion. You know, um, yeah, I just like oil and I like the richness and you can, you know, you can, um, you can create so many types of uh, paintings, you know, I could do realistic, which are like my dancers, or um, I do have not here with me, but more impressionist style where it's looser. Um, I have paintings of scenery where the style is a little more loose, and it, it, it's um, you could do so much with oils. What's your favorite? What's your favorite thing to draw? I mean, um, to paint. Excuse to me. paint um, places I've visited that I've had absolutely loved. Like the the painting behind me is from Lake Como, Italy, so it just brings back memories. Right. So tell me a little bit about your um, process, right? So yeah. you, you just come up with an idea in your head or is it something that you see? And then what's the process from there, from okay. your, in your um, head to on the canvas? Uh, the painting behind me, the girl, um, that was in Malta. I was walking uh, through this pier in Malta and this girl was dancing. And I like dancers. I used to dance when I was younger. So I asked her if I could take a photo. And I love the old town. Uh, that's in Malta. And I just came home. I had the photo and I just started sketching it out in charcoal. And then I painted it. And I like, um, I love scenes from when I travel because I love to travel. Uh, I like dancers. So if I see a, a picture online or uh, I'll just take the picture and I'll change it a little bit and paint it. And it just brings life. It just brings back my memories from childhood when I used to dance. Yeah. Which I loved. Um, so you have, you have a, a picture, 
that you, a physical picture that you take. Mm -hmm. Do you ever just come up with something and draw it like freehand? Yes, I have. Not not with me today, but I do have a few pieces like that. Yeah. Yeah. And is that harder for you? It's harder. Yeah, it definitely is harder because you have to use your imagination. You're not looking at a picture or a real life subject. Yeah. So it's, it's definitely harder. I think that's easier with abstract paintings where you're looser and there's no, you know, um, you just put the paint on, on the canvas and you mm -hmm. can use different shapes and colors. I think it's easier with a painting like that. It's more difficult with a realistic painting because you need to have a subject, either a person or an object in front of you to paint from. Understand. Yeah. yeah. Now, are you a perfectionist? Yes, as you can tell, I do. I like to, I like everything perfect, but sometimes it's nice. It's freeing when you do an abstract painting. You just pour it on and just, just see what comes out. That's um, right. So it just kind of grows as you're drawing. Yeah. Yeah. So how do you feel like, um, I'm just going to pick this up sure. so we can just look at it. Is that okay, guys? Um, I'm just curious. So you started with a drawing, mm -hmm. right? And then, um, you sketch it out on here, kind of. Yeah, I sketched it out on the canvas. The it was a white canvas. Yeah. I sketched it out in charcoal, and then I took a, a fine brush, and I took a little bit of um, a beige uh, color, and I sketched I sketched the outline. Mm -hmm. um, and then what I do, you have to cover the canvas with paint, so I just took colors that I had, and I um, loosely put the colors on the canvas. And, and then from there, I started doing the details. Like just like blobs of paint you put on um, it? No, I just I just put I take a brush and I just brush on the colors. It does not no details. Okay. Just the colors, mm -hmm. like black in the background and the red of the of dress, and then I start working on the tiny details. Oh, uh, okay. So then, how do you like? How do you how do you know you're finished? Right? Do you, you ever feel no. like you're, you're like that's done, or you're just yeah. like kind of like I have to stop? Like that's how does that the, work? That's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> so at some one point, you have to say okay. I can keep going, I can keep going, especially if you're a perfectionist. Yeah. I could keep going and going. So at some point, I'm like, okay, this is enough. I'm just going to stop now and, you know, and let it dry. <laughs> so have you ever, no, this is, this would be something I did. Have you ever just gone too far and then ruined it? Um, when I first started, yeah. But then <laughs> with oil, the good thing about oil is you can fix it. Okay. Yeah. Which like, is funny because I never, I thought that oil seemed like, the hardest thing to work with. No, because it dries slower than acrylic. So you can, okay. you have more flexibility. Yeah. And you know? so once you're done with the painting, mm -hmm. then do you have like something to protect it? Yeah. Well, as you can see, this is shiny. Yeah. So you have to wait till it dries and then you put, um, it's called, um, de, uh, varnish, Demar varnish. And you can put that on after it's dry, usually a few months later. A yeah. few months later. Yeah. Well, you can put retouch varnish on it sooner when it's dry to the touch. Yeah. And that gives it a glossy sheen. And then if you want, you can put um, a satin sheen over it um, oh, wow. when it's really dry. So there really is quite the process. Yeah. To do it's a lot of work. Like yeah. Each painting probably would take anywhere from 15 to 30 hours, depending on the complexity and the size. Mm -hmm. Now, do you have a space in your house? Like, do you have a, a studio yeah. in your house? Well, I have a room, which is, um, it's it's got windows. It's like a patio, but enclosed patio. So I, I like the lighting there. So you, do you play music when you're? Yeah. Oh, you do? Yeah. Play you, have, music. you find your space. Yeah, find the space. Depends what I'm in the mood for. If I'm doing something live, I'll put on more like dance music. And oh, really? Lively. But if it's, it's something that's very soothing, scenery, I'll put on like, I'll even put on classical music sometimes. It's very soothing. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. So like, but do you, like, if you're drawing like animals, is it one thing or it just, it just depends on your... It depends on my mood. Your mood, yeah. Yeah, mood. I'll see a picture and, I'll, you know, I'll see an animal. I'm like, oh, that's really nice. Let me try to draw that and I'll, I'll just draw it. Like with a hummingbird, um, I found this a photo online. It was a little different from this. The colors were a little different. I just changed the color and then I, I put the black background on it because the, the red flower seemed to pop with a black background. So I'll take a photo and I'll just change it up a little bit. Yeah. yeah. I love that one. That, like Thank I was saying, you. that's, that's Thank beautiful. Thank you. That's beautiful. I, I find to be attracted to like the super vibrant yeah. colors. But you have a different, you know, you have a wide variety. You know, you have yes. your dancers. That seems to be a favorite of yours. Yes. Is it a favorite? Is it, it is dancing? a favorite. I like scenery too. Like, um, the scene behind me it was, you know, I travel. And like when I go to like Greece or Italy mm -hmm. or a uh, different country, I like to take... Uh, one of my favorite photos and just paint it. 
And it doesn't have to be specific, like, to water or to a landscape. It's just something, something from... Something that stands out, you know. A happy Usually memory. it's landscape with some water, or yeah. it can be buildings with flowers. And, yeah, it just has to appeal to me somehow, evoke emo um, emotion. Like, this painting just... It was my birthday in Lake Como in April, and um, I had uh, dinner in the restaurant that's in the painting. And um, after dinner, I said, oh, let me just take a photo as a memory. Mm -hmm. And then I just, it, it was just so pretty with all the flowers and the water behind. Um, so I just painted it when I got home. It's gorgeous. Thank now, you. do you hang your paintings up in your, in your house? Do you yeah. have a thousand of your paintings? <laughs> but I have a thousand now, so, <laughs> so it's a problem. So I'm going to start doing some shows and hopefully yeah. sell a few. And, How many paintings do you think you have total? Um, I think I have about 120 total. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's a lot. So yeah. where do you store them? Do, is, do you have to store them in like a specific way so they don't get ruined? I cover them. Um, I put bubble wrap on them, and I cover them, and I have them in a box. Um, Mm -hmm. I don't, you know, I, it's hard because I do have a lot of paintings that are framed and hung on the wall, but there's only so many you can hang in your house. Yeah. So, um, do, you, it, do your friends ask you to paint for them? Your family asks yeah, you to paint? Yeah. Yeah. I've given away, when I first started painting, I probably have given away about 30 paintings um, to friends and family. Right. Yeah. But now I'd like to start showing and selling, hopefully. Have you yeah. had a show? I have. I had a show uh, right before COVID started that month, mm -hmm. um, March of 20, the 2020, yeah. Um, I had a show at the Shelter Rock Library. Oh, you did? Yeah, I actually had a show where people came and had entertainment and music, and, and the paintings were there for two months. So the library closed because of COVID, so. Um, as did the world. Yeah, as did the world. <laughs> but the paintings were there for two months, and um, yeah, it was fun, it was, really, it was nice. I did sell a few paintings at the show, so. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, so so nice. let's talk about that. So mm -hmm. um, you're hoping to do shows, but there's nothing on the... Uh, nothing set in stone, set in stone yet. right now, right? Yeah. But I do have uh, two places that uh, said they would be interested when the weather gets nicer. Um, one's a restaurant and one's um, a salon, a hair salon. Right. Um, so hoping to set that up this, this year. And then in addition, you have a website. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I'm sure Instagram and all the things. Yes, Instagram, Facebook. So why don't you mm -hmm. let our audience know where they could see your work? Okay. Um, if you look at Kavitas, it's K-A-V-I-T-A apostrophe S, Kavitas artwork, um, it's on Facebook. You can find it there. Um, I also have a website, and it's kavitaraju 8 dot wixsite dot com so I'll have to spell it out <laughs> it's K -A we'll put it we'll put it on the screen yeah. for everybody yeah so I do have um, a website also yeah. and so people could um, mm. see your work pur purchase it straight from there uh, well they'd have to get in touch with me because not all the pieces are for sale I just I have a website and you know if they're interested in any pieces they can contact me they have contact information there okay that's wonderful yeah yeah. So is there anything else on the forefront that you're hoping to do, looking for? I just, you know, I, I, I'd like to take lessons with someone new who has a different style of painting. It, you can always learn. Always learning. And everybody's got a different style, and each teacher is different, and you learn different things from different teachers. So I think I'd like to, to find a different teacher and, you know, just learn new techniques, um, maybe become more free with my paintings and do some abstract art, which I really haven't done much of. Okay. Yeah. Have you done any? I've done two. 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 Yeah. I mean, you said you liked it. You said yeah. it was freeing. It's freeing. Yeah. <laughs> but it, yeah, I, you know, it's just nice to try different styles. Yeah. 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 Now, have you ever thought about teaching? Um, Doing like little workshops or? You know, I think down the road I will. I haven't yeah. really thought about anything right now because I just started getting back into painting after working all these years and um, I just started and you know yeah. I took a little break during COVID I did I did some painting but I didn't do a lot um, but this spring I'd like to get back into it so maybe maybe I'll teach yeah maybe with young kids that could be fun that would be super fun. Yeah, it could be fun. Or it could be a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> they love, you know, little kids are, little kids are adorable. And, you know, the ones that want to learn, uh, they're really into it. I've seen yeah. little kids who just love it. So, maybe. And they're unrestricted, right? Yeah. So they're just, their minds are open. They're, they're just open. ready to, you know, yeah. do whatever you ask. So that's great. That's good. Well, I really appreciate you being here. Oh, Thank you so much. Yeah. Is there anything else that you'd like to share with us? No, I appreciate your time. Good. And, yeah. It's been really That's wonderful. It. Thank you. Well, I hope you enjoyed that segment. And stay tuned for more World Art Day with North Shore TV.